What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we'll be talking about more data my text that uncovers more of the storyline coming in patch 8.1. Now just to start the video off, there will be both spoilers and speculation in this video. The spoilers will of course be data my text that I'll present to you all, and the speculation is what it could all mean, so watch at your own risk. Now as the title says, this video will surround the actions of Trade Prince Gallywix and the possible fate of High Tinker Mechatork, both storylines I personally am very interested in. Now it kind of goes without saying that both these characters are not really at the forefront of their respective factions, as much as people love to hate and hate to love both the gnomes and goblins, I would argue that both characters have played significant roles in advancing their factions efforts in Battle for Azeroth. Gallywix for example showed Sylvanas the blood of Azeroth, Azerite, and then proceeded to do what goblins do best by immediately sending groups of miners to Silithus so they could be the first to get their hands on this new shiny valuable material. And then Mechatork played a role in the takeover of Lordaeron by aiding the players with mountable bots to hinder the horde forces in the back courtyard with the help of Illyria Windrunner of course, and then as the horde escaped, leaving behind toxins keeping the alliance from advancing, he then aided his faction once more with mountable flying helicopters to escape the area. Now all that's fine and dandy, we've seen all this, so now let's get to the good stuff. So first things first. High Tinker Megatork is going to be a boss that the Horde will fight in the Siege of Zuldazar raid. Him, along with Jaina Proudmoore, will both be bosses. Well, actually Jaina is currently not listed as a boss that the Horde fights on the PTR, but Ian did say that the Horde would end in a fight against her along with other Alliance commanders. So we'll see how that unfolds. Now before this Diademon text came out, I did notice Megatork is a boss that the Horde would fight, which intrigued me, but I just thought, uh, well, the Horde will just fight him, and the fight will end in Megatork escaping at the last minute with some elaborate gadget as gnomes are known to have and he won't actually die and the same thing will happen to Jaina. Well, it may not seem that way. So let's take a look at this data mine text. So there's a lot of different texts to go through that mentions Mechatork, but let's start off with the engineering trash talk between Gallywix and Mechatork. So Gallywix has a set of dialogue that basically talks about a goblin technology jet fueled by Azrite that ultimately helps the horde, then he goes in on Mechatork. Huh, feels weird actually doing something for someone else. Is this what you do all the time? He's most likely referencing the player here. Gotta say, I'm not a fan, but you know who I'm actually not a fan of? Mechatork, King of the Gnomes, or whatever those little freaks like to call him. With a little help, the shoddy goblin worksmanship may just explode. He thinks he's so much better than the goblins. Yeah, well, you know what, pal? At least half of us ain't radioactive. In reference to leopard gnomes. We need to reach the engine room. You know what I'm gonna do when I find this guy? First, I'm gonna blow up that little mech suit of his, then I'm gonna find more of his little machines and blow them up too. Seriously, this guy's obsessed with machines. Makes me think he wants to be part robot or something. That line in particular seems kind of significant. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, blowing up all his stuff. Yeah, I bet he'd be crying and sobbing the entire time. What a wimp. And then, I'm gonna sell all those junk parts of his below market rate. The ultimate goblin insult. God, player, hit the big red button. Blow this mook to smithereens. So where does this take place exactly? Well, it's a bit difficult to pinpoint, but I would assume it's some questline that the players go through, prior to the Siege of Zoldazar raid. Now, Mechatork does not seem to be present as Gallywix is saying all this. This next set of dialogue is between Mechatork and Gallywix. The first individual talking is Gallywix. We're cooking with gas now. As right, gas. Hit the big red button and let's see what this thing can really do. This is sad, Gallywix. My creations are way stronger than yours. Who are you kidding me, Gallywix? Your machine is falling apart. You goblins can never beat gnomish technology. Haha, -ha, this is just pitiful, Gallywix. You're no match for my creations. I just ran a scan. Are you seriously using an OS that old? Really? Did you guys iterate on this mech at all? It's barely first pass. That mech of yours is a serious safety hazard. Take a good look at what golden goblins can get you, Mechatork. This baby is brimming with Azerite. Hey, uh, player, you might want to hold on to a lot of somethings for this one. You piece of junk, I pay good money for this, and all you can do is make me look like an idiot in front of Mechatork's toys. Just freaking work. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at all that Azerite, all that destruction, all that power. Now this is what I paid for, Mechatork got nothing on this. Let's get back to the base, see if we can find where Mechatork is controlling these things. So it seems like Gallywix and Mechatork were in some sort of showdown between each other's engineering contraptions. Now this next set of dialogue is Gallywix's contraption running out of Azerite fuel. Out of Azerite, what did I pay all this gold for? See, Gallywix, this is the reason why the Horde will never win, because you're all just too stupid. Well, bye bye. No, 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 no. Error, Azerite ammunition depleted. Let's call up roadside assistance to fix the mech. Here comes roadside assistance, see that's what I'm talking about, fast service with a smile. Roadside help here now boss, we're a move mech too. Where's the rest of you? I need this thing fixed, not moved. Oh yeah, got napped by alliance near here. Want me to move mech? No, I do not want you to move my freaking mech. Player, it's time for you to get vengeance for me. 
Now this next set of dialogue is from Gallywix, and I believe he's talking to Alliance players, but anyways, he finds a treasure golem made of gold, which the Alliance blow up. Let's all just relax, take a look at this thing. The gold. The gems. It's... It's beautiful. I'm tearing up over here. Say, uh, how's about we make an arrangement? Leave this guy to me, and be on your merry way. I won't say anything to your king, and you don't say anything to my war chief. Deal? What are you doing? Don't hurt it. You monsters. How could you destroy something so glorious? It's true what Sylvanas said. You alliance thugs got no souls. Oh, thank goodness. Don't you worry, my precious baby boy. You'll be safe with me. Those alliance goons will never learn. Who's good golem? You are. So, there's that. Seems like you may have found a golden golem pets of some sort, I don't know. But anyways, this next dialogue is Gallywick speaking of his plans to burn Mechatork's ship to Horde players. Alright, here we go. We got the fuel, we got the plan, and we got the hands to push the buttons to make it happen. We're gonna show Mechatork that we ain't so stupid after all. Once a ship's on fire, we'll land on it and send one of them SOS things. He's gonna be flying back, and I bet he'll be all, oh no, I've been outwitted by Gallywix. He destroyed my ship. I better save everyone. Then when he gets there, he'll see us and realize he's been double outwitted. Ha, huh. that's the part where you and me blow him up on his burning airship. You can't get more dramatic than that. I'm so excited, all my chins are shaking. One thing at a time, let's blow up that ship. So once Mechatork's ship seems to be burning, he then proceeds to escape. This next set of dialogue is between Gallywix and Mechatork, with Gallywix speaking first. Look at all the... the destruction. This is what gold and taste for the dramatic get you. Sound the fake SOS to lure Mechatork here. Gallywix. Player, I should have destroyed you when I had the chance. You'll pay for this. This ship is coming apart. You won't be so lucky next time, Gallywix. Oh, I'm not letting you go. We're finishing this here and now. Gallywix, my proto-layered optimal titan armor will keep me safe from any of your pitiful attacks. It's been really not nice knowing the both of you. Have fun in whatever afterlife you go to. Behold the Ultra Magnetizer. It'll keep you stuck on the ship and short circuit your pitiful robot. Hey, what the heck kind of cheap and indestructible shield and he disables us? You ever have this happen to you, player? Destroy this thing of his so I can get out of here. So the Horde Burn Mechatork ship, Gallywix attempts to take out Mechatork, but doesn't succeed, and Mechatork escapes in plot armor. Now this next set of dialogue is actually pretty good. It's Gallywix looking back on everything that has happened in response to him being the original mentioner of Azerite. We almost had him. Stupid exploding ship. I guess we should look on the bright side. We blew up a ship, killed a bunch of robots, and kept our Azerite safe. <laughs> I would have never thought that this is where things would end up, after I told Sylvanas about Azrite. Oh right, the Prince of Darkness told me you were going to be needed back at the Banshee's Whale at the end of this operation. Something about seeing the fruits of your labors or some sort of thing. It sounds ominous, I'm sure it's going to make Bane upset. I'm going to spend a whole lot of gold to find a way through the stupid armor of his. Next time I see that little freak, I'm going to kill him. You know, every now and then, I think, should I have really told Sylvanas about this whole Azrite thing? If you really think about it, if no one never found out about this stuff, maybe we never would have started this whole war. Could have avoided burning down that tree, might still have the undead city. It really makes you think, don't it? Ha, huh, I'm just kidding. Of course I don't care about that stuff. I'm flying a freaking mech that shoots lasers made out of the planet's blood. That last line, I feel like I should really hate Gallywix for it, but I just can't. But anyways, all this seems to be a series of quests perhaps that come in 8.1, because after that is the fight between the Horde and High Tinker Mechatork in the Siege of Zuldazar raid. Now not much is known about this fight at this very moment, but that will surely come soon enough. But what happens after the fight has a lot of people wondering. So first off, let's take a look at some of Gallywix's trash talk towards Megatork during the fight. Not so fast, high stinker. Your band of murderers ain't going anywhere. Still can't forget what they did to that beautiful money golem. You plan to stop me with that gaudy shambles you call a fight suit? Or are you planning to sparkle me to death? You think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Let's go, Tinker Boy. Ha, huh. slap on all the golden glitter you want. Your inventions are still cut-rate trash. Now, after the fight... It's interesting, because Megatork somehow becomes frozen, in possibly some cryostasis chamber, or maybe encased in Azerite. Now, I strongly do not believe that this is the Horde's doing. There'd be some dialogue that shows this, but after looking through all of Gallywix's, Sylvanas, and even Talanji and Nathanos' dialogue, none mention Megatork becoming frozen. I do believe that this was a self-inflicted action, maybe a last-ditch effort to not get killed. Azerite seems to still have some unknown qualities to it, which is why Megatork could have used it to encase himself. There is then more dialogue from Janna to Anduin. The first person speaking is Anduin. Janna, was there nothing you could do for High Tinker? No, I'm sorry. The mechanism used to freeze his body is unlike any of the magic I know. Anduin, is there anything the light can do? No, we tried. We did have a victory despite the costs. I should celebrate with the others, and yet, I think I understand. But what about you? How are you faring? You held off some of their best warriors while the fleet retreated. 
better. My healing is ongoing. Don't worry about me, Anduin. I'll be okay. It is good to have you back with us, Auntie. Thank you, Anduin. I have heard rumors about an old friend of mine, Kalia, that I'm not certain I can explain it, but I'll tell you what I know. Let's go inside and you can tell me. So a couple things stand out here. First off, it's a bit cute that Anduin refers to Jaina as Auntie, because remember, she has been with him since the beginning. And then on top of that, Jaina says that there's nothing her magic can do to save Mechatork, since whatever froze him is magic that she hasn't dealt with, which is what makes me think that he's possibly encased in Azrite. And then Kalia. Now, I have yet to talk about Kalia on my channel, but if you've watched other WoW YouTubers like Lark Gaming and others, then you may have heard this name and how she plays a part in a possible future storyline and her significant role in the novel Before the Storm. Just a short summary, Kalia is Arthas's older sister. Her last name is Menethil, and she's also in the Priest Order Hall during Legion. Now in the novel, Before the Storm, she was murdered by Sylvanas Windrunner and was taken back to the Netherlight Crucible, where she was resurrected into an undead touched by the light. Many people believe this to be a possible alliance allied race. Now there's much more to her story in the novel, but this video isn't exactly centered around her. But this does open up into a possible 8.2 two storyline that we could see. You know, cult around humans and Zandalari trolls playable in 8.1, maybe light touched undead and something else playable in 8.2. Anyways, I got a bit sidetracked and there's actually a bit more I wanted to say about Megatork. So as I mentioned, Megatork is frozen, some way, somehow, possibly this means he won't be heard of for many expansions, and then he'll manifest into some Azerite encrusted creature. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Anyways, a bit of a callback to something Galiwick said earlier on. I'm just waiting for Megatork to turn himself into a half robot. We all want it, it would make his character so much cooler, and this could possibly play into another allied race that there have been talks about, the Tinker Gnomes, or whatever you call them. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you, just to recap much dialogue between Galiwix and Megatork, Megatork becomes a boss for the Horde to fight in the Siege of Zuldazar, and then this ends in Megatork becoming frozen somehow. Jaina says that she can't save him, and we're left wondering what is going to happen to the gnome and the giant mech suit. And if you have any speculation, you can leave it in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then you can leave a like on it, you can sub to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.